morning. Look where I am today. This is the main attraction in Houston. This is Space Center Houston, which is the visitor center for NASA's Johnson Space Center. From here, they monitor several important missions, like the missions to the moon. And also today, this is where all the activities in the International Space Station are monitored. This facility here was used for training in the 70s to prepare astronauts for their work at Skylab. Skylab was America's first space station. With microgravity, it doesn't make a difference if they're sideways, upside down. <laughs> here, for example, look at how they use the shower. Astronaut food here. Look at that fettuccine, rice, and instructions to prepare. Here there are three real spacecrafts that went to space in different missions. That's a real piece of the moon. It was brought back to Earth in 1972. It is so smooth. But actually it stayed like this and acquired this color because of so many people touching it over the years. NASA already had several missions to space and in many they used the space shuttle just like that one on top. That's a replica, but the one on the bottom was indeed used to transport the space shuttles. It looks like a plane, huh? That's because it is. It's indeed a modified Boeing 747. The only thing that they maintained here from the original plane was the first class seat. Here you catch this tram that brings you to Johnson Space Center right beside. This is the real thing, you know, one of the NASA facilities in the U.S. This is where the real training occurs. This is so gigantic. You have no idea. <laughs> Only being here to understand. This is the largest rocket built at the time of the historical missions to the moon in the 60s and 70s. Houston, we have a problem. Remember that from the movie? They were supposedly talking to people in this room. And this area here, this was the VIP seating. the presentations you learn some very interesting things as well. For example, water is very precious and rare, then they need to recycle even the urine. Also, the lack of gravity damages the muscles, so the astronauts must exercise at least two hours every day. The Expedition 50 crew that's on board the station right now, they exercise with similar equipment. There are so many great things to do here. Presentations, the simulators, the tram tours inside the NASA facilities as well. But the ideal would be for you to plan ahead and spend the whole day here.
Space Center Houston is located about 30 minutes from downtown Houston towards the Gulf of Mexico. Galveston is about 40 minutes from here. But this time we're actually going somewhere else nearby that also seems to be very interesting. Kima Boardwalk. Here at the Kima Boardwalk, you find everything you expect. A theme park, restaurants, stores. Normally it's not this quiet, but today it is very cold and it's a Monday. We had planned to go back to Houston and visit some museums, but it's impossible. We spent basically the whole day at the NASA Space Center, so we'll see the museums tomorrow. Now, we just need to go back to the hotel and have a really hot shower. <laughs> Did you like the video? Then share it.